Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films, and welcome back in Unreal Engine 5.2. In this video right here, we're going to be comparing 5.1 to 5.2. As you all know, in 5.2, Lumen, when it comes to MetaHumans, were changed, improved a little bit. So I went ahead and redid this video that I did this morning and changed the lighting a little bit so we have a little bit more shadows. So we're here already, and I have the same exact project, and 5.1 is going to be on the left side, and 5.2 is going to be on the right side. So let me go ahead and show you that because some of y'all really have trust issues out there. 5.2 is right here, and then we have 5.1.1 right here on the left. Now, looking at this right now, with the same exact settings, I pretty much just opened and cloned the 5.1 and 5.2. I didn't change anything else. I can see the difference here a little bit better now. If you look at her nose right here and compare it to this, as you can see, this is a little bit smaller. The shadow on her nose is a little bit smaller and right here is you know a little bit bigger you can kind of see it more and this is sharper as well maybe some tone changes this one right here looks a little bit yellowish greenish and this one right here looks a little bit more you know pink kind of like you can see a little bit through the skin a little bit more with some subsurface scattering or whatever so the question now is would this be enough change or improvement for someone to swap over from 5.1 to 5.2? To me, probably not. I mean, I still use ray tracing deprecated anyway for my shorts. I don't use Lumen when it comes to a MetaHuman. I absolutely do not do that if I can. Um, but for you all out there who are wondering if it's worth swapping over, if you ask me, I don't think it is. Uh, 5.3, however, as you all know, I've been messing around with that. That comes with a lot of cool features already. I still got to make more videos about some of the new stuff in there. So I think 5.3, absolutely. But 5.2, unless you really need the procedural content plugin that I made a video about, the tutorial, I think I would stay with the 5.1. But then again, let me know in the comments below if you think this is enough change or improvement for you to swap over your project. Uh, but that being said, I did re-record this portion. So what I'm going to do now is just replay what I recorded this morning as far as the rest of the changes in Unreal Engine 5.2. That being said, I'm going to show you some stuff that they added in 5.2. Uh, if I now go to Lit, you're going to see we now have Groom Debug. So that's good. So I can go to the Guides. That's going to change it to the actual Guides of the Strand. So if you see right here in the Lit, we don't have that. Now let's talk about the post-process volume. They did add a couple of things in there. So if I scroll down here, you'll see we have path tracing. And if I do the same thing for a 5.2, you see right here, we're going to have this thing called lighting components. What actually, what that's going to let you do is actually take away render settings for path tracing. So if you don't want to render emissive, you can uncheck that. That's what I'm guessing. That's what I'm getting out of it. Maybe if you're trying to debug a scene that you want to get rid of some some key elements for path tracing, then I guess you can disable it. You just go path tracing film grain and there's nothing. There's no lighting components there. So they did add that for path trace. Additionally, if we were to render this, they did add, I believe they added this like early, earlier on as soon as 5.2 came out last year. If I render this movie with a render queue and uh, I'll do the same thing here. I actually find this change a little bit annoying. So if I go to the unsaved config and I go to the output, Whenever you type a file name in here, you're going to have a lot more options. There's going to be a drop down, you know, like level name and stuff like that. But the problem is I can't tab out of that. Like for me to get out of that view after I change the name, I would have to like click out of it, which is kind of annoying. So again, if I go to 5.1, I'll go right here. You're not going to see that, right? So if I type in J-O-L, it won't be there. So again, that's just one of those things that they changed or they added. Uh, in 5.2. Additionally, if you did not see my video on this, procedural content generation framework is here. So check that video out. I'll put the link in the description below in the top left corner of this video or top right corner. And then check that out. The video is pretty cool. It's pretty much a new scattering, procedural scattering system, which is pretty powerful. I've been playing around with it. It's It's pretty nice. But aside from that, I mean, I can go ahead and render this just to see if we would see the change in the render. But honestly, like again, I just don't, I don't see it. So I'll put two in here for 5.2. 
And we're just gonna render like maybe four frames is fine. And while that's loading, I'll go ahead and pull this up in um in the Vinci Resolve. So here's one. And I'll just put this right here. And by the way, this right here is a path trace meta human that I rendered in Unreal Engine 5.2. So that's good news. This thing rendered in 34 hours. It's about, let's see, 54 seconds. So that's a good thing. Um, but as you can see right here, and again, I'm going to upload this a video of this later. I'm having issues with the mesh to meta human eyelids. Right? That's what it's called. Little eyelash. Usually, whenever you zero out the actual um, mesh to meta human effect, that will get rid of that. But I can't. I just can't get rid of it. It's messing up the eyelash. And it sucks because it, it kind of ruins the, um, the look. So I'll go here. This is two. And we'll just kind of put them side by side. Yeah. I really... I just don't see enough. I just don't, I just do not see enough change in there that would make me upgrade to 5.2 if I had 5.1 and I was like working on it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I don't want this video to be super long. That's it. Those are some of the changes in Unreal Engine 5.2. Uh, like I said, this, this is good news because, you know, I did render this out in 5.2. So that's good. It didn't crash or anything like that. And the house didn't get burnt down. But I'm going to be uploading this. Obviously, it took a while. So if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you all later. Peace out.